Hello everybody. Today we are going to explain the clamping circuit. Clamping circuit is a circuit that adds a DC level to an AC signal. The output signal form is similar to the input signal, but shifted above or below depending on the circuit. For example, if we have a sine wave as input, the output the output may be shifted above or below depending on the circuit This circuit is taken from your lab book. So we have given input signal V1 equals 10 volts peak to peak sine wave, which is 5 sine omega t. C1 is 0 0.1 microfarad. R is 1 mega ohm, which is 10 power 6, micro 10 power minus 6, and the diode. With VD on, approximately 0 0.7. There is an important condition needed for a clamping circuit in order to work well, which is the period of the input voltage V1, for example, here the frequency is 1 kilohertz. So the period of the sine wave V1 is one millisecond. The condition is the tau, the time constant of the capacitor charging and discharging, tau equal RC, should be much, much bigger than the period T in order for the capacitor not to discharge quickly. By this way, we can maintain a DC level which can shift the AC signal above or below depending on the circuit. If we take a look here, we can see that the values of R and C are chosen in order to maintain a large value of tau. Now I will draw the input signal. Which is a sine wave. From... 5 volts to minus 5 volts and we are going to find out the output signal by analyzing the circuit I will redraw the circuit. Since it's starting from the positive half cycle, I will add a plus sign here. Plus sign for the capacitor. and the output V2. The capacitor is initially zero. It is empty. So Vc equal zero. When the voltage V1 rises from zero till five, 
the diode D1 will start conducting since V1 will be greater than VD on so the current will be flowing in this path And since there is no resistor in the outer path, the capacitor will charge quickly. So applying a KVL minus V1, V1, VC, minus V1 plus VC plus V2 equals zero. So VC equal V1 minus V2 V1 will reach 5 volts and V2 is VD which is 0 0.7 5 minus 0 0.7 equals 4.3 volts so V2 in the first case equals VD equals 0 0.7 volts I will draw now on the output graph V2 it is reaching 0 0.7 now I will take the another case where V1 drops below 5 volts from here till here case 2 I will choose 3 points for example 4 volts and minus three minus five. I will redraw the circuit. at V1 equals 4 volt so 4 volts plus plus minus VC which is equal to 4.3 volts as we said before the time constant of the capacitor tau is much much bigger than the period of the input sine wave so the capacitor will not discharge quickly VC equal 4.3 volts I will add V2 terminals applying a KVL minus V1 plus VC plus V2 equals 0 so V2 equals V1 minus VC V1 now is 4 VC is 4.3 so the output voltage is 0 0.3 negative 0 0.3 this means that the diode D1 is in the off mode so it will be acting as open circuit since VC is greater than VC is greater than V1 the current will be flowing from here and passing in the diode so V2 equals minus 0 0.3 I will graph V2 4 V1 4 volts V2 is minus 0 0.3 I will take another point we finished the 5 volts and the 4 volts I will take minus 3 V1 at V1 equal minus 3 I will redraw the circuit
here I will put the positive sign of the source below because it is acting now in the negative half cycle V equal 3 applying a KVL plus V1 plus VC plus V2 equals 0 so V2 equals minus V1 minus VC which is equal to minus 3 minus 4.3 minus 7.3 volts I will plot V2 on the graph so for V1 minus 3 V2 is minus 7.3 I will take this point at minus 5 at the maximum negative peak So the given now is 5, applying a KVL, B1 plus VC plus V2 equals 0, V2 equals minus V1 minus VC, which is equal to minus 5 minus 4.3 equals minus 9.3. This will be the maximum negative peak. minus 9.3 I will take the last point which is at 2 pi the input is 0 so at at V1 equals to 0 we know that a voltage with a 0 volt is a short circuit applying a KVL plus VC plus V2 equals to 0 so V2 equals minus VC which is equal to minus 4.3 volts so minus 4.3 volts or a two point. So now we can deduce that the input peak to peak voltage is varying from plus five to minus five. So the peak to peak voltage is 10 volts. And here the output signal is varying from 0 0.7 and minus 9.3 so the peak to peak voltage stays 10 volts but it is shifted downward because of the diode and the capacitor in the circuit now we will apply this circuit on LT spice in order to check the results and the output signal